guys. <clears throat> hey guys, Simply Betty here. I am filming this right now in a hotel room um, after Aquashella ended. It's probably, you probably hear it in my voice. I have a really hoarse voice because just from shouting and yelling for two days straight. It was awesome. It was so much fun. So I'm sitting here now with with all my goodies in front of me that I got from Aquashella, I got so much stuff. I got like an entire suitcase full of ghost driftwood. I got a suitcase full and I'm so excited about it. I also, you know, I got all kinds of goodies from the convention that are wonderful. But the problem is bringing it home. Yes, I have a suitcase I can put driftwood in. That's why I brought it. But I wasn't exactly planning on bringing fish home. Of course, I fell in love with a selection of bettas. I see lots of betta fish for sale. I'm bringing fish home. I have heard that you can bring fish as a carry-on on an airplane. Multiple people have told me this at the convention that you can actually do it. And I'm, I'm gonna try it. But I'm a little bit nervous because if I get it wrong, if they deny me, what am I gonna do? I have like six fish. What am I gonna do with those fish if they deny me? All the durable stuff, obviously it's in the suitcases, but I don't just have fish. I have a selection of, of not durable items I need to bring on the airplane with me. Some of which include my little baggie of fish. I have six bed of fish in here. I'm kind of excited about it. I also have this. Look at this thing. It's like a little Christmas tree or a pine tree made out of driftwood and twigs. And I thought it was adorable and I really would like to do something with this, maybe around Christmas, maybe. But it's really delicate. Like these twigs, they're gonna bust if I put them in my suitcase. Like even if I wrapped them up in something, just the way my suitcase is right now, it gets squished and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna bring that on the plane. I also have some of these beautiful, red peace lily looking things. I don't even, I can't even remember the proper name to call them. So how about like pe red peace lily? Because they were lovely and I have a little project for them. But the real big issue is not the plants or the wood. It's my live fish. That is the problem. And that's what I'm kind of worried about. So this should be fine, right? It should be fine. I, I was Googling it and according to a bunch of airlines, like it's all right, it's okay to do, but it's up to the discretion of your TSA agent, which is kind of scary. Like what if I get a really grumpy TSA agent? What am I gonna do? All right, I'm headed to the airport. It's super early in the morning. Uh, I have all my fish in my backpack. My voice is even more gone than usual. I just hope that like my TSA agent isn't grumpy and like hasn't had their morning coffee yet. So we'll, we'll find out. While I was in the check-in and luggage line, I was searching the airline website for confirmation that my airline would let me bring a fish on the plane. I couldn't find any conclusive information. I'm actually a little nervous that they're not gonna let me do it. Uh, oh God, what am I gonna do if they don't let me do it? I'm also carrying this Christmas tree because it's so delicate. So I look like an idiot. I startled the TSA agent lady. I was like, hey, I have some pet fish. They're asking for me. I'm here. <gasps> yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, I did it. I'm so happy, there's like a big load off my shoulders, a big weight off my shoulders because I really thought that they weren't gonna let me through with my little fishies. So glad everything worked out. Um, so now I'm in the airport, got my fish. I'm gonna show you my fish um, in, just, in just a little bit once I find like a place to sit down. I'm still carrying my little Christmas tree around though. Well now I have the opportunity to do things that I've never done before with my, with my bed of fish. I'm gonna bring them on a walk. I'm bringing my fish to a coffee shop. I'm bringing my fish to pick out snacks at 7-Eleven. I'm sitting down, I ate some breakfast, and I'll show you my fish. Check it out. Here's one of the little beauties that I caught. A pretty little yellow koi female. I thought she was very cute. Here's another little female, and she still looks good. I can't wait to get her home. This is one I had special ordered for me to pick up at Aquashella, a really nice black male um, half moon, who's quite lovely. Oh, this male is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love him. 
It's just a really pretty like orangey koi orange galaxy. He's really cool. Here's the yellow koi male that I got too. And then that was gonna be all the fish that I came home with, but uh, I got a gift fish. This fish is a crown tail male. He doesn't seem very happy right now. Um, he hasn't been super happy since I received him. It was cold on the plane, so after takeoff, I took my baggie of fish and I zipped them up into my jacket to warm them up. Those were some toasty warm fish bags. I looked really heavily pregnant. I couldn't put the delicate Christmas tree anywhere where it wouldn't break or get crushed, um, so I resigned to just let it take up my entire tray table. I actually got a lot of compliments on it. I was surprised. I made it home. I have my fish in my backpack. I kept them warm throughout the flight like by, by tucking them in my shirt. And it actually works really well. I guess I'm very warm. So now I'll head home. I'll get these guys into some quarantine like containers, which I always do and relax for a little bit. Aqua Shallow was super fun, but man, I'm tired. I'm home and it feels so good. The first thing I'm gonna do, obviously I have a couple hours of like unpacking and cleaning up and spending time with my family, but I need to deal with the fish first, um, especially because that one little gift fish isn't looking so great. So I'm gonna get him into some new water. I need, I need to get him just relaxing for a little bit and see if he perks up. I'm not even going to unpack my tripod for this. I'm just gonna set my very nice camera in a potted plant. It's my last minute container. I'm gonna be using a, a pickle jar, a big pickle jar. That's a gallon sized pickle jar. I'm just doing a very shallow amount of water because this fish, um, he doesn't look so great. He doesn't look like he's swimming very great. And I'm not gonna you know, put him in a container where he has to struggle to swim and struggle to get a breath of air at the top. Plop him in, so I just gently put him in my hand and lowered him down. Okay, little guy, perk up, okay? I'm just gonna put him on my table and cover him with a little towel and just hope that he perks up. I don't have very high hopes. Um, this fish, he came from like uh, one of the, like probably a big wholesaler. Who knows how long he's been in the bag, um, but I really hope he does okay, he's cute. This is probably the best chance at survival he had. Come on. Here are the rest of the fish. They look a lot better. Um, they didn't come from like a mass wholesaler. These guys came from MB Betas. These guys look really nice. They look healthy. So I'm gonna get them into some containers too to relax for a bit. Look at all that. Here's my entire suitcase packed full of driftwood. <laughs> I really came through on my promise to do this. I have so much like ghost wood hit, oh gosh, I'm excited to use it. I got a couple little snapped twigs, but for the most part, it all came in okay. Fishy currently is no longer laying on his side, so that's some progress. I'll leave him alone. It's been a few weeks now, and all my fish are doing really great. Uh, this guy is the best. He's so sassy and colorful, and I just love him. He's perfect. He's amazing. The little black male is really skinny still, so I'm fattening him up a little bit, but I think he's gonna be a really nice fish. The females look amazing, I love them. They still have some growing to do, but they're going to be so awesome. Even my sick little crown tail male is doing well, um, though he's still in his quarantine tank right now, but he is alive. He's looking a little bit better every single day, and fingers crossed, he's gonna be just fine. I'm glad I brought these fish home and I took that little risk even though it was nerve wracking. I'm really glad I did that. It's kind of a neat experience and a neat story. So tell me what you think guys. Would you have tried bringing fish home on the airplane? <laughs> have a great day and I'll see you next time.